You got it? Okay. Okay, so we're going to divide decimals review again. We're going to go 20 divided by 0 0.1, which is actually the same thing as asking how many dimes are in $20. Now, the reason it's the same thing is because division is like how many of these are contained in that, okay? Because, like, if you take a division, if you took, say, you know, um, if you took something like, oh, $20 divided by $5, right? What's 20 divided by 5? Right? Because there's five, there's four $5 and 20, so that makes sense. There's four of these guys in that guy, right? Right? So when we're saying 20 divided by 0 0.1, we're saying how many of these dimes here, these dimes are contained in this $20 bill? How many of these guys inside of that guy? Right? Make sense? Okay, so that's what division actually means. How many of these are contained in that? So we're saying how many dimes are in twenty dollars? So do we, have we all figured out an answer for this before we do? So what what do we all think it is? Not ten. Try again. It is two hundred. There are two hundred of these dimes in twenty dollars. Because for every one dollar, there's ten, but we have twenty dollars. 10 times 20, 200, right? Does that make sense? 200 dimes. There's 200 dimes in 20 bucks. All right? Now, so, I want you to write all different ways. This can be written as 20 over 0 0.1, right? It's also 0 0.1 into 20. So write it this way, write it this way. There's Three different ways of writing division, like this, with the division sign as a fraction or in the long division form, right? Okay. Now, when we go to do long division, the problem is we can't because there is, a, we, if there's a decimal here, that's not easy to do, right? We would like to turn this into a whole number. If I want to turn this into a whole number, do I move this decimal point to the right or to the left? That's the question. Which way do I go? To the right. How many spaces to the right? One space. Now the trick is, the rule is, if I move that one space, I must move this decimal place one space. Where is the decimal point for our $20? Where is it? After the zero. It's right there. So you big dot there. And I need to move this decimal point to the right or left? To the right also. And I put in a zero. So this becomes 1 into 200. Okay? Which is a really bad example because there's almost no division to be done. <laughs> but what does this make? What's 1 into 200? Yeah, 1 into 2 is 2. 1 to 0 is 0. 1 into 0 is 0. So the answer is 200. Um, so yeah, it was just a matter of kind of understanding uh, dividing by decimals. But ah, uh, I'm glad it, I'm glad it clicked for you. Good. So what do I multiply 0 0.1 by to get 10? Because I want to get 10 on the or no to get ah uh, no 10 but one 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 sorry yeah right 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 so. So 0 0.1 times 10 is going to give us 1, and we must multiply the top by 10 also. So 200 times 10 is 200, and then we just have 200 over 1, which is just 200. Okay, so, so all of that to say that this is why we divide decimals like this, because it, you can see how it works, right? See the mechanics behind it, lovely, okay. So let's move.